The Immaculate Conception, A Beacon of Divine Grace The story of the Virgin Mary's Immaculate Conception is one of the most profound mysteries of the Christian faith, shedding light on the purity and sanctity required for the Mother of God. This doctrine, deeply rooted in Scripture and upheld by the Church, reveals God's profound plan for humanity's redemption, which begins with the creation of a sinless vessel for the incarnation of His Son. Welcome to our channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. From the very moment of her conception, Mary was preserved from original sin by a singular grace of God. This privilege was granted not by her own merits, but in view of the merits of Jesus Christ, her Son and Savior of the world. The angel Gabriel's greeting to Mary in Luke 1:28, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you, indicates her unique holiness. The phrase, full of grace, reflects the completeness of her sanctity, which the church fathers interpreted as being free from the stain of original sin. Mary's immaculate nature was necessary to fulfill her role as the mother of God. St. Augustine of Hippo, one of the church's great theologians emphasized, we must accept the Holy Virgin Mary, concerning whom I wish to raise no question when it touches the subject of sins, out of honor to the Lord, for from him, we know what abundance of grace for overcoming sin in every particular was conferred upon her who had the merit to conceive and bear him who undoubtedly had no sin. This highlights the early church's recognition of Mary's exceptional purity, a purity that was necessary for her to be the Ark of the New Covenant, the living tabernacle of God. The doctrine of the Immaculate Conception is not merely a theological concept. It has practical implications for every Christian. It teaches us about the holiness we are all called to and the transformative power of God's grace. Just as God prepared Mary to be the mother of Jesus, he desires to work in each of us, purifying us and making us vessels of his love and mercy. In moments of struggle and temptation, Christians can look to Mary as a model of perfect obedience and trust in God. Her life was one of complete surrender to God's will, even when it led her to the foot of the cross. By seeking her intercession, we invite her to guide us in our journey of faith. As St. Maximilian Kolbe, a devoted Marian saint, once said, Never be afraid of loving the Blessed Virgin too much. You can never love her more than Jesus did. This underscores the importance of fostering a deep relationship with Mary, who leads us ever closer to her son. Furthermore, the Immaculate Conception assures us of God's infinite mercy. In a world marred by sin, Mary stands as a beacon of hope, reminding us that through God's grace, we too can overcome sin and live in communion with Him. Her Immaculate Conception is a testament to the victory of grace over sin, a victory that is offered to each of us through the sacraments and a life of prayer. In seeking Mary's help, we are not just asking for her prayers, but also striving to emulate her virtues. Her humility, obedience, and unwavering faith are qualities that every Christian should aspire to. As we meditate on her immaculate conception, let us ask for the grace to reject sin and grow in holiness, trusting that Mary, our mother, will always lead us to her son, Jesus Christ. In conclusion, the doctrine of the Immaculate Conception is not only a profound mystery of faith, but also a powerful source of inspiration and hope for Christians. It calls us to recognize the greatness of God's grace, the sanctity to which we are all called, and the importance of seeking Mary's intercession in our daily lives. By turning to her, we allow her to guide us on the path of righteousness, leading us ever closer to her Son, our Savior. As we honor her immaculate conception, let us renew our commitment to live lives of purity, faith, and love, confident that Mary, full of grace, will always intercede for us and help us on our journey to heaven. Thanks for watching. 
please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.